Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to Spelton's. By the way, we have a Discord, join it, it's in the description below. Okay, that solves that problem. Now, sure. now anyone paying attention to the series definitely saw us saying that. So, so last oh, time we, met, we, we mentioned, we were talking about Aaron. Uh, oh, okay. Sort of, oh yeah, um, in case it's not clear, uh, Aaron from Aaron, Aaron Mac Cosplay. That's it, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, our friend Aaron, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she changed it, actually, I think. Did uh, she? I think it's like Mac Daddy. It, Aaron the Mac Daddy. Uh, what? Let me show you this. Mac, yeah. it, it, Aaron it, it, Mac you... Daddy. That's what their page is. It's just Aaron Mac oh. Daddy? Okay. Yeah, That's yeah that called. cosplay page. Yeah, I think she recently started putting more, a lot more effort into maintaining it. Yeah, uh, it's it's hard to put effort into things and maintain it. Yeah. <coughs> Spelltons. Uh, yeah. But, uh, two episodes that... a day for a year. Fucking I, impressive. I don't think I... Uh, Aaron, <laughs> so, Aaron and I are on Cosplay Humble brag. Uh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Aaron and I are on eboard for Cosplay Trip. Uh -huh. So, like, I've, this year I've been getting to know Aaron better because I have to. Uh, <laughs> Jeez, uh, Derek. <laughs> wow. Also, Aaron's cool. Uh, so, for... Uh, Aaron's so pretty for, cool when I knew her in RIT. Jeez, I didn't have to get to know her. I just knew her. Because I chose uh, to. Jesus Christ. Apparently, so apparently for a while she thought I just didn't like her. Uh, she was oh, like I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think I, of a reason why she would think that, Derek. So I, I do have a little fun with it sometimes. <laughs> uh, did I, I don't think I told you uh, about, I briefly mentioned it to you, but I didn't talk about it on the show. Uh, there was, uh, at one of our more, at the last eboard meeting we had, uh, was the last one? Or maybe it was the one before. Uh, I ended up calling Aaron a bitch. Uh, yeah, you said that. And I was just like, jeez, man. Did I, tell, did, I, did I I don't think I talked about it on the show I don't think you talked about it uh, on the show. The context to it it's was... It's okay. Uh, Who cares? The context to it was uh, Aaron's planning on running for president of Troop next year. She's okay. vice president currently. And uh, the one thing that concerns her the most is the president's general is supposed to be viewed <coughs> as a neutral party um, among everyone in Troop. Mm -hmm. And she's concerned that people will not view her as a neutral party. So when issues come up, that people will think that she's being biased. Ah. Uh, and at one point, she and at one point we were talking, and she's like, "How do I make people not think I'm biased in troop?" And my immediate response, <laughs> just because I couldn't, she gave me the perfect opportunity. My immediate response was, "Well, first off, you could try not being such a bitch." Jesus uh, Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Why? That's so mean. It was funny. She knew I was kidding. <laughs> I clarified it she, afterwards she, also, to be sure. She, but. Just, she just goes home and cries into a <laughs> pillow. Derek hates me. The best trap in the cosplay <laughs> troop hates me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I like that that was what I, I chose for hey, you. I'm, for. I'm a top tier waifu in troop. Thank you. I feel uh, like that's still helps you uphold the best trap. I guess so, yeah. I guess so, yeah that's <laughs> uh, but, uh... That's, that's also his Discord role it's, title. I'm it's proud because, of that. Okay, so, and the reason I did that is because... The reason that, that I think I, I did that was because uh, we have the running joke that people started that in... on That, uh... We had the uh, skits with groups thing we did at Troop where people got to basically write a quick skit that um, we given up or about a uh, prompt that we gave them. And we gave uh -huh. a group uh, what actually happens to eboard meetings. And one of the results of that was mm -hmm. <clears throat> they made a joke that uh, Aaron's boyfriend and, and I weren't at the meeting and we were just in the like off somewhere. This we kissing. did talk about. I yeah, I, I, I know. That's Odyssey. why I'm trying to, <coughs> I'm trying to abridge it. Um, <laughs> bridge, and, uh, bridge the own spell. To, bridge, bridging uh, our own episodes. Uh, like Teen so, Titans uh, Go did once. Uh, so, um, ever since they did that, mm -hmm. though, it's been a joke <clears throat> among Ivor that, like, uh, between Aaron, or between Aaron, Aaron's boyfriend and I, along, well, just Ivor in general, that, like, uh, that, uh, I, or that, it's, it's like that image of, like, here, uh, I think it's from Parks and Rec, where it's like, uh, this is my boyfriend, and this is my boyfriend's boyfriend. <laughs> we joke, we joke as though the scenario is sort of like that. Um. Okay. So, uh, you really like don't help this... yourself out with the whole not no, gay I don't, thing. No, I don't help <laughs> myself out at all. Um, are you sure you're just not gay, Derek? I am 100% it, sure. It's okay. I, I, I tested it, I'm sure. You te you tested it. <laughs> all right, Derek, let's, let's hear this I'm story. Kidding. Is I'm this kidding. what you learned in the. Oh, wait, we can't mention that yet. Uh, 
No, I was kidding. Um, I have not so. tested it, nor do I intend to. I don't need to. I already know. Um, so, sure. uh, but the, but, uh, there was, the, <laughs> there have been multiple times where, like, uh, cause, oh, fuck uh, you, game. Every so often, Erin will, will bring, like, will be like, all right, she's, she's not, she's not the most closed person about her sex life. So, uh, every so often, she's she'll not? bring something up, and I'll, <laughs> what? She's not? Yeah. She's oh, she's open about her sex life? Yeah, sort oh. of. At least when she's drunk, she absolutely is. Uh, uh, I mean, I think... But, uh, I feel like that goes for everyone, Derek. I don't know if that's just her. I, but, well, she's all, also... In, there have been... She's told us uh, stories of stupid things just, like, in the eboard chat. Anyways, <laughs> most of the time... Are when you she sure she's not drunk then? She's also still told us during meetings, uh, which I don't think she was drunk during. Uh, but it's possible, I okay. guess. Uh, I guess we're just, like, gossiping about uh, Aaron this entire episode. That's fine. She can listen. Aaron, Aaron you're great still. Uh, I bet she, uh, she... I mean, if she's subscribed to us, she might know. She's not yeah. subscribed to us. Her loss. She's not gonna... She's uh, not gonna know what episode this is. But, um... There have been times where, like... She's like... Where I guess like the the joke kit came up like uh, Derek, why were you like kissing with my boyfriend or something? And I was like, or like, or, uh, well, you know, apparently you're not doing a good enough job. Yes. Uh, I, we, that's that that Aaron and I have been doing that like all year. So that's mm-hmm. that. I think that's why I ended up having the thought just like uh, we've been going back and forth with that jokingly all year. I guess that's probably why I had the thought as soon as Aaron was like, how do I oh, get sh- people to not be or <laughs> think I'm so biased? My immediate thought is. We'll stop trying. To, we'll stop being such a bitch. Uh, it was, as a joke, of course. Uh, sure. Wow. And here I thought just, this season was the season of Zinker being a prick. It turns out just, it was Derek all along who was the I'm prick. Also, I, also <laughs> brutal, I also have a tendency to be brutal. I also have a tendency to be brutally honest with people. Uh, what was I being brutally honest there or not? I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, the people, the people will say they're just like I just like to be brutally honest. Typically, they just want to insult people. So I mean, it's... yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, so <laughs> that's it. Like, be, it's not. They're be not fair, being brutal. Oh, I, how did I miss I, this? To be fair, whenever I'm brutally honest with someone, uh-huh. <laughs> or like I say, or like I, you give like, them a pity room job. Them. Yeah, that, and I expect them. To, <laughs> I expect the same from them. I expect that. If I'm a son of a bitch about something, uh-huh. I expect them to be like, Derek, you're a son of a bitch. And I'd be like, all right, tell me more. Uh, well, I guess, wouldn't that, isn't that more of like, it? So fair, I never like, get that about fair, son of a bitch. Isn't that more of an insult to your mother? Like, yes, but like. What does that, it, like, what does that really I, do to you? you inherited the bitch. No, it doesn't. You I think guess? that's what the insult is. No, that's, it, that's you the have like. Of an insult. Also, or it's just calling you a dog. <laughs> I wouldn't say so, cause like yeah, you only inherit fifty percent of your parents' genes, so that means you're like fifty percent likely yeah, to be a bitch. Yeah, but your bitch is showing. I I wouldn't say so. I I wouldn't say so. If if I was being a bitch, I think people would just call me a bitch instead of calling me a son of a bitch. Um. Yeah, yeah. Take that. Th- Ow. Uh, okay. Well. That. Oh my God. Please stop. Please. Oh, go away. You mother cunt lickers. Oh, okay. Woo! Is this a stapler? Yeah. No, it's a camera. I, <laughs> I, I was almost really excited for a second. That I found the stapler. <laughs> Best weapon in the game is the stapler. You got, you got, well, you got the camera, at least. Oh, uh, you got yeah, the camera, anyway. the camera is not good at killing things. It just freezes them in place. And I can only have one weapon. Thus, it is worthless here. I will actually die. <laughs> well, I could throw it at people, but I'm well, not you know, interested in the challenge mode. <laughs> I, I could throw any gun at people. Ooh. Oh, no, that's not a good gun. Well, it's an okay gun. It's not a good one. I have the kunai. Um, there, uh, there is a... there is a. I don't know if we ever got it, but there is a sniper rifle that lets you shoot through walls. Um, oh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I think oh. we did get it, actually, once. Um, I know so much about this game. This game is freaking awesome i love it a lot also i don't know if you notice but uh we're in like this cool sci-fi pyramid uh yeah it looks all cool like it has all sorts of cool lights in it yeah it no this is absolutely like 
one of the coolest this is, environments. This is like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links or whatever like that that movie was. Du- what? <laughs> Duel Links is the mobile game. <laughs> whatever the the latest Yu-Gi-Oh! movie is. Tron Legacy? Like, uh, yeah, Tron. <laughs> Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tron Legacy. Because I was thinking this is like Tron Legacy, or Tron-ish style, you know? Um, but it's Egypt. It's That's Dark Side of the Dimensions, other. Derek. That's Dark the Side movie. of the Dimensions, yeah. With the cube guy. Yeah, with his cubics monsters, which are fucking and, bullshit. <laughs> and the, the, like, weird dueling mechanic where you can, like, pay life points. Like, yeah, that was stupid in the movie. I don't know why that was do a anything. thing. I didn't know. Stop anyone from doing anything. It was pointless. <laughs> they just always were like, I'm just going to go full power. Fuck it. I know, and they only could go full power to, like, their normal monster attack. I think they did it yeah. once. They did it once where it was once. under. I think, yeah, I think it was the, the antagonist, too. I'm pretty sure Yugi and Kaiba were both just like, fuck it, I'm going all in. No, the antagonist, all, all monsters had a zero attack. Oh, okay, never mind. I, there may have been a cha- time where it did. I don't remember. Yeah, no, it, I think it, I think it, I, I feel like it was Yugi. It might have been Kaiba, though. Cause... Kaiba, I feel like, just wouldn't have done that. Uh, oh, I I, think I, they, I think he did it so he could like bring out blue eyes or something with. I guess that that sounds like Kaiba. I yeah. don't know, but because uh, he definitely brought out blue eyes with him <laughs> at some point. Mm. Yeah, I love uh, how they, in that one they just kind of show like Kaiba just has this like secret Yugi fetish or like uh, Yami Yami Yugi fetish. fetish. Yeah, yeah. There's like there's like a whole I like... scene just dedicated to his fetish. Yeah, well, he also makes the space elevator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which he they talk about in the fucking uh, bridge thing, yeah, which is yeah. absolutely perfect. Uh, literally the best. Oh god, that's a ram. Uh, that's literally like the best thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, I like. I uh, there's also that scene at the end where he actually finds Adam and they start a duel. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. That's funny. He, he somehow travels into like Egypt in the past. Yeah. Despite all means, he manages to accomplish that. It's okay. When did Yugi? When did Yu-Gi-Oh ever care about the plot? I guess what, the first before, couple. Before, no, you know what? Fuck before. it. They never cared about the plot. <laughs> <laughs> they never, not um, at any point did they care. Season four, obviously. Well, I, I feel like any of the seasons, really, they just didn't care. Oh, boy. <coughs> this is not a good scenario. I don't like this. I don't like this. I wish I had trapped the saber. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna take damage. I took damage. This is sad. This is a sad day. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. I don't know how you do it. It's a toughie. Alright, yeah. Um. Well, now I wanna see, yeah, like, Yu Gi Oh! Tron Legacy. I. <laughs> them on, like, what? Them dueling on light cycles? Uh, Gee, no, they I used to. The, uh, crazy if they dueled on, like, motorcycle type things. Because you know the disc is actually called a dual disc. <laughs> right? Yeah. In Tron yeah. Legacy. So they just have like a fucking disc thing that they it's put the cards the into and they <laughs> and they throw it's it like at people. Ori- it's like Kaiba's original design for, <laughs> for the dual disc. He th- it, was like a, it was on a string and you, <clears throat> it was like a circle that you just threw. Was it re- Oh yeah, I kind of remember that. <laughs> yeah. That seems mildly familiar. Did you put they the cards the- in it? Yeah, you put the card in it. You put the card on it. You he- you held the like string like on your finger or whatever. You threw it. It spun and then like the hologram popped up. <laughs> wow, that's that's funny. This is yeah. Ooh. It was literally wow. a circle. Wow, I am that's not getting anything from these chests. I think, I think that's probably why it was actually called a dual disc, despite being more of a dual trapezoid. Ah, it's still well. It fold, doesn't it fold up to a disc shape? It's more like parallel it's parallel lines ah boy i i would i would say it folds up into a disc shape though i think that well well it has a disc in the center too plus doesn't it spit out discs or something it spits out hologram projectors well it used to and then they stopped caring about those and then the holograms always work yeah anywhere (laughs) that's the easiest way then Um, on arc v they just made it the entire field is always a battle yeah (laughs) yeah and then occasionally you run around and get and grab cards that do stuff, I guess. Oh yeah, that's <coughs> interesting. It's also lazy, but it, it, yeah, it's interesting. I feel like they're trying to make uh, duels more interactive with that. Um, to be fair, it's a show about card games. I feel like they had to spice it up somehow. Yeah, I feel they had yeah. to change up the they had to change up the the format somehow. Besides. Uh, here's a different protagonist. There's bad guys. He's gonna duel them now. Yeah. 
Meanwhile, I wonder what they're doing in fucking range, because... <laughs> That's probably why people didn't like Duel Academy as much. Duel Academy didn't do as much. or they It was pretty much... It was very similar format to the original Yu-Gi-Oh, except in a school. Yeah. It's just like... And then what, they had motorcycle God. duels, and then yeah. they had... Thank uh, God Pokemon didn't follow. Well, they had number hunting. I don't know where that accomplished. Anyhow, mm -hmm. uh, next time on Spelton's. Bye-bye.